Oh, fireworks. It's not even the first yet. It's not even New Year's Eve yet. I gotta tell you, this area used to be great for popping fireworks. I can't pop fireworks anymore. Not on this block anyway. The cops come out and they, they bust up the fun. You know, like... I get that. The reason why they don't want you lighting fireworks is supposedly for like a burn ban or whatever, but it's it's not even dry. It's not it's not even a drought. It's moist. Uh, you know, nothing's nothing's gonna catch on fire unless someone's an idiot. Um, I think really it's about the noise. I think it's that they bring the police out to. To not only give you a ticket, but to confiscate the fireworks that you paid for. If you spent a hundred dollars on fireworks, the police could just take that. Which seems that seems like theft. You know, that seems illegal. It's like, um, well how about it how about you don't take it? Since I paid for this, I paid for these fireworks, I own these fireworks. You're not confiscating my property that way. How about you uh don't take it and I just drive across the street where and the, the county line is different there's a different county different rules and i'll just launch my fireworks over there oh, what the f you know how about we do that you know but everyone you know people are usually uh, afraid or hesitant to argue with the cop because well they're the ones who hold the power to uh and when, when things escalate like back to blue back to blue back to blue it's like i hear you on that but at the same time though i'm kind of i'm kind of leaning towards uh the anarchists that say uh you know really the police or i don't know libertarians or anarchists or whatever that the the police um I mean, what role do they really serve i mean what to uh enforce the law what laws speeding tickets okay um that's another law that's kind of silly. A speeding ticket. It's a speeding. You know, you, you can only drive so fast in a certain area. Why is that? The kids? Okay. I got, you know. I hate it when it's like police are pretty much used to limit someone's fun. Like, let's say lighting fireworks, popping fireworks. If it was like a holiday, like, say, 4th of July. Are uh, New Year's Eve? They're gonna come out there and they're gonna bust the, you know, bust the party, ruin everything, cancel the fun, ruin everyone's time. Why? Because you're having too much fun. And our taxes pay for the police, and what did what did the police do? They bust up the fun. They ruined the fun. If all they did was actually like solve murders, <laughs> prevent crime. That's fine. That's good. That's useful. But let's say, like, enforcing clean. mandates, governor mandates that aren't even legal, <laughs> aren't even constitutional, uh, not even a past law, just, uh, just a mandate, a decree from the king or a governor. <laughs> Sorry. I was just seeing, seeing the parallel there. Kind of what they are now, like this kings. The like one side of the aisle, the blue team claps and supports it, not realizing that what they're clapping for and supporting could easily be turned in their direction. And it is at times when they realize, oh, fully vaccinated means something else now. Oh yeah, that's right. It's constantly going to change. But that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other thing. Right? They got it. And on the other side of the aisle, the red team's like, you know, I mean, they see it for what it is. They see it that it's an overreach. And they're using police to enforce it. Now, some cops will say, I'm not going to do it. But they lose their job. They get fired. Okay. 
They get the threat of that. They want to keep their job. They'll keep their job. They do what the governor says. If they follow the... I guess follow the uh, decree. But they keep their job while being a foot soldier. Or some bull crap. And that whole line about... um, Oh, they're just doing a job. You know who else is just doing a job? Mobsters, gangsters. They're just doing a job. They're just doing a job. They're they're doing a job to put food on the table too. You know? No. I mean, come on. Yeah, you thought I was gonna say the Nazis. Of course. I mean, that's a go-to. That's obvious. Because the people run running the gulags are also just doing a job. I mean, just because it's a job, just because they're doing a job and getting paid for it, and, and uh, putting food on the table for their kids, does it doesn't justify it. it? Doesn't justify it at all. Left maybe maybe it's a crappy job. Maybe it's a shitty job. Oh, Jesus Christ! What was I thinking there? <laughs> Would that work in real life? I don't want to die, cause I have like. A good arsenal and stuff and it, it would be a shame to die right now it would be a horrible tragedy to die right now please drop life essence or something see there's cops coming right now I can hear him I got uh, a neighbor across the street lighting fireworks do I care no I don't care I don't mind but here comes the fun police Coming in like heroes of the day. But overkill and that didn't even kill them. That did not even place enforcing these stupid fucking mandates. I don't, I don't see the problem with that. Like, oh, they're oh, they're just keeping us safe. Keeping us safe from what? A cough? A sneeze? So people died from people die from the flu too. You know who dies from the flu? People are like compromised. People who don't take care of themselves. I mean, it's it's silly. Oh, but but my granny died. I don't give you know at this point. Sorry for your loss, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, you know, uh, it sucks. You do lose people in your life, but I'm not gonna. You know, that doesn't justify enforcing some bullcrap, illegal, not even constitutional mandates just so that you feel a little bit happy. You know what? The other thing is too, like looks like my train's coming. None of this stuff is working. None of this stuff is working. You know, there's stuff, there's something I want to say, but you can't even say it because it's like, it won't let you, really. But it's, the thing they want everybody to take isn't even effective. It's so, I mean, if it was effective, why would it, why would it require now, f not just, Two doses, but a booster, not just one booster, two boosters, three boosters, even four boosters. Israel, somebody doing four boosters, and Israel's a good, <laughs> a good uh, example of, of what, what's going to happen, which is it's not going to do anything. It's not going to be effective. Israel's pretty much isolated, right? I mean, well, they isolate themselves with that, with their walls and their policy. And if they were like mostly vaccinated, but they still had outbreaks and problems, what do you think is going to happen? Even if everyone was vaccinated, people will still catch the virus and still spread it around. It doesn't kill the virus. It still spreads around. The virus is just going to mutate and get stronger. That's what it, they do. It's so silly. But we're supposed to just take the word of a Dr. Fauci, a doctor who thought that you can literally get AIDS from just touching a, a baby, uh, setting a baby on like a counter, <coughs> countertop. <coughs> um, Jesus, it's horrible, man. Definitely not the smartest doctor in the room. But he, you can't even question that either, can you? Insane. None of it makes any sense. This all this all started with talking about the fun police. That's what they are. Like any more? Like, dude, I used to uh I think earlier, maybe last year, I was like, you know, sport the blue and all that stuff, but I don't know. What are they doing? <laughs> 